What's up guys? Today we are dicking around with Blender. What else are we gonna do? It's not like we have lives or anything. So if you clicked on this video, obviously you already know what Mixamo is. So we're not gonna go with all the spiel on how to download your character and rig it and everything. We're gonna assume that you have already got all that taken care of. So we're gonna start just, uh, I got my friendly little robot character here. Bob, I guess, Bob the, Bob the robot. So we're just gonna start in there, adding in an empty to our scene. Go, I like to use cubes, just go ahead and find your character's armature, click that armature, shift click onto the robot, and I got the uh, robot and the armature se selected. While those both are selected, go ahead and shift click on your cube. Now that all three are selected, go ahead and click control P, that's gonna bring up Parent 2, go with object, keep transform. Why do we do that one? I don't know. Blender Guru said to do it, so that's what we do. Now that we got those two joined up, we go ahead and we find our animations. So as you can see, as we go through, mine just kind of uh, chugs along. He goes through and then we get to a start animation. Then we go to a walk, then stop animation. And you can see it pops to the origin point. So that's not good. Then it goes to just a straight walking ahead animation. And how do we put the three of those together? Well, now that we have our robot and our armature parented to that empty, we can go ahead and control everything just by controlling the empty. So when you click on the empty, you need to go over here to your object properties tab and uh, control over there. But that's a big, uh, you know, it's a waste of a tab. So just go ahead and click N on your keyboard, go up here to item, and then right here on location, you got the location of that cube. So right there you can see we are controlling our armature and robot without disturbing its animation. So we can do whatever we want with it. Meaning that we're able to keyframe where we want this bastard to be. So we are going to go to the end of Animation, uh, animation strip one right there, the start walk cycle, frame 87. Then we're gonna click one more, boop, to frame 88. That has our uh, stop walk animation on it. So we're gonna go there. We are going to see, let's see here. So this guy ends at that uh, negative 0.57 for me, might be different for you. So just pay attention to where that is. And then I like to uh, find a spot, you know, like right here where it says 80, you know, let's, let's take his foot and let's put his foot like right, right on the 80. That way we know, you know, within a reasonable distance of where he just was. And then we're going to go ahead and click one frame forward from frame 87 to frame 88. And he pops back over to where he began. And then we just go ahead and grab up here since we got the empty selected and we drag him over until his foot lines up with that big 80 right there again. Which we're gonna go ahead and call negative eight because that's right there on the line. Then right click, insert keyframe. You can see down here, blah, blah. 87, where he was. 88, where you gonna be. Then when you go back, and remember you could find that like, I'm not lining up, like if you're actually gonna animate, you're gonna wanna make sure that your character's limbs are crossing and going at the same time whenever but I'm not doing that. This is a tutorial and you guys can figure it out. You're smart enough to be here. You're smart enough to figure it out. So you can see, as I said, it could be prettier, but right off the bat, immediately you can see that we go from our guy who would have popped back to the zero origin point there. He pops in one frame, click, continuing on that walk cycle. Come on. Easy peasy. So once again, once we get there, what are we gonna do? So we got, uh, once again, the animations that are on top take priority. So this one, I, I could have trimmed down. There's a bunch of different settings. I have what's called Godot Game Engine add-on added in. So that allows me to take like animation strips and mix them together. Once again, subject for another video. Right now, we're just gonna stick with keyframing this empty to mix these animations together. So the uh, stop walk is on the bottom, armature there. We can rename that to the uh, to just walk, just walking. 
bam, now we got just walking, because that's all it is. This one's, he's just walking. He's just walking in place. This one, he stops, starts walking. This one, he is walking and then stops. And this one, he's just walking. So we go to where this one I want to end. So you can see on frame 109, his foot is down and this foot is up. Left, left foot is planted, right foot is up. So we click back, same exact motion. Where's his foot at? So his foot's right there. So, you know, this time we'll go with trusty old number 70. So, if, you know, this is just for my reference to be able to eyeball it real quick for you guys. You know, just find a reference point. You could actually go through and figure out the, you know, every single block on here is, is one blender unit. So, a meter, a blender unit, I don't know. So, you could actually figure out what the exact distance is and do it way better than this. But I'm eyeballing it. So, we're going to line his front foot up with old number 70. And on 108... So on 108, we're going to go ahead and insert that keyframe, and we're going to click one more, and we're going to take that foot. We are going to line him up with good old number 70 right there, frame 70 indicator on our, not timeline, not dope sheet, but NLA animation strip, and we are going to line his foot up, insert another keyframe, and boom, he is there so if we go all the way back to where he stands hit play we take a guy who is essentially absolutely unmobile kept flipping back to that origin point every single time and now through just kind of brute forcing we have figured out a way to keep that animation going blah blah oh and since that's a animation where he's just stuck in place we'll go ahead and throw like a uh like a negative 20 on that, throw a keyframe in, drag it down to the end. Blam, now he's walking. What do you think about that? Brute forcing it. Do you got a better way? Because if you do, I would like to hear it. I made this tutorial because I couldn't find anyone who was breaking it down any easier than that on how to combine these Mixamo animations. So if you know a better way, please comment. I'll make another video with your ideas in my video and I'll get the love. But you'll get the satisfaction knowing that you helped people just like yourselves. So go ahead, leave a comment, subscribe because I really need it. I, 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 I'm a comedian and the only way I get attention is through teaching people Blender. That's the wrong way to go about it. I don't know. So hit like, please, please, please subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next tutorial.